it's monday morning good morning and it's about uh low 60s this morning we're getting into the 80s today so don't have too many projects on schedule for today i need to get this stuff in some kind of order and i'm thinking i'll move it from here put it on that plywood and just try to get this area a bit clean cleaned up my patio furniture is in this barn and i need to get it out of here there so i could bring it out and get it cleaned off uh, yesterday i did a lot of watering i watered everything in a planter pot ground and I am down to that amount in this tote with no rain in the foreseeable future so I definitely need some rain it will be handy um, one project for today would be obviously to come out here and do some more weeding on this market garden as you can see, I have sprouts. I haven't yet said what's in these beds because one, it's experimental, so I need for it to produce fruit. And once the fruit is produced, I will definitely tell you what it is. So we're just experimenting at this point. Um, Cucumbers are coming up. This is the Mitsuna. It was a free seed, I want to say, from Breakers Creek. And my intent is to um, harvest and most likely feed to the chickens. These are my radishes. Uh, let's see if we can see some radishes going on there. Yep. Um, I have a few more over there um, and those are the beets there's a few pepper plants in here and this side is supposed to be carrots so I did get this bed weeded and uh, that was Saturday um, this bed broccoli on the right and this is the kale I'm standing behind Swiss chard and I went and I looked back on what I recorded and on this left side was supposed to be spinach which I either picked out and discarded or didn't get much germination on them the tomatoes are still in here obviously doing a good thing so I see I have a pot fell over. Let me go and fix that. So this is the peas row. And I have some more peas coming up here. And that is the beans row. And I have some coming up there. I'm thinking for these next three rows, if I have any more acorn squash, I think I'm going to succession plant those and see if... I get some acorn squash going but so far I don't see any germination from the first planting so let's continue so everybody is out quiet content I like that I have a few still pecking away or scratching, but that's a good thing. All right. So, we never got to getting this door done. And what we realize is, while this screen will fit perfectly on the top and it doesn't hinder the door from coming down, the chicken wire on the bottom needs to be replaced. And I'm going to go with something, a finer gauge, because... What I'd like to do is get the shavings from this area blown back in because when they, you know, do what chickens do, a lot of the shavings get blown through 
this gauge of wire so i'm looking for something finer i need to go pick some up from tractor supply and um so we're gonna put the screen on the top a finer gauge wire below i need to get a cutout so when i roll down the door i could step on that and be able to secure it and what i'm gonna do probably to keep the shavings in there where that cutout is is just put one block that should take care of the issue so far the drip pans are holding up i uh, moved the roost and they have figured out the treat baskets um, i had to go in there and shake it a few times for some treats to fall out and finally they put two and two together and say okay treats that's where you are and everybody seemed to be doing fine my sunflowers in this bed started to sprout i need to come in this bed today and do a bit of weeding and i want to cut down some of these branches that's just hanging over so there's a few weeds and just line up the bed a bit So that's not too big of a deal. And these are my hollyhocks. And in between them, you may notice my sunflowers. So, so this is the sunflower and zinnia bed. And I have a bit of sprouting going on. I would like to get the partition or the line on this bed redone, but I am waiting more for seeing what the germination is like on these zinnias before I start um, putting the shavings back in the bed around the plants. So this is going to be a future project. So let's see what we can get into this morning. I'll bring you back when I'm done. So it's a few minutes later and I got that cleared up to the best I can. I'm going to, when the contractors come back, get them before they leave to move those two pallets, most likely in that general area for me. So go back to being the way it should be so I noticed the volunteer plant that was in my tire it's turning out to be I want to say a sunflower so it looks like a sunflower I am thinking I'm going to transplant it the issue is do you transplant it in the bed that's by the fence or by the propane tank because the bed is by the fence has five feet sunflowers the propane tank is about six to seven so I'm thinking by the propane tank that way even if it's short <laughs> it'll blend in with the ones that's coming up in that general area so next project is to get the area by the propane tank weeded and go from there. I'll bring you back when it's done. So it's now 11 a.m. and I got this area weeded best of my ability. I got some of that brush cut down that was hanging and i managed to replant that sunflower from the tire so we'll see what it does so now i am going to the market garden area to get that weeded so it's now around noon and i got everything weeded Definitely looking better than before. Um, so
so I am going to come out here probably this afternoon around five ish six ish and get everything watered. so that's gonna end the vlog today and I wish you guys have a blessed day thanks for stopping by